Thank you, President. And I think um, everyone will enjoy the response to uh, some of the uh, ludicrous claims that were made by the Honourable Neil Thompson. And look, it's not unusual in this chamber to hear it from that Honourable Member. Um, and I just want to correct the record on quite a few things. Firstly, uh, the Honourable Neil Thompson mentioned a crime forum that took place uh, last year um, prior to the election. Now, Honourable Member, you would be well aware that there were certain members that weren't even invited to that forum. It was very funny to see that all the Liberal members were right there and organised and invited and already pre-planned to go up there. Zach Kirkup had already bought his khaki pants and his RM Williams boots and his fake Cobra so he could go up there and whip up as much drama as he could. And what happened? As soon as we found out about that forum, we were up there front and centre, me and the Honourable Ben White. And we went up there and we absolutely stood front and centre in front of the community. And we listened. That's something you don't understand, member. Listening and actually reacting to what community members want. What happened up there and what I seen from the Liberal Party was desperate, cheap and whistling. It was whipping up stuff so that you could get a front page up against the Premier. And it was disgraceful. Disgraceful. Do you know what your fearless leader, who no longer leads you, said that you were 18 police short he stood up in front of the crowd and said, you're 18 police short and it's a disgrace by the government. The police who were sitting right there stood up and said, no, we're not. Absolutely not 18 officers short. It was a lie to fear and monger and, and get the crowd going. And it was rubbished. The Honourable Robin Scott, ex-member of this place, was there calling for an intervention calling for an intervention, using words like that in a place where there's been so much pain and he's up there whipping up that type of language which your party was sitting front and centre with him. It was disgraceful. We are actually about real results and real listening and really actually getting to the core issue. Another part that I don't think you understand is there's more than just the Kimberley to your electorate member. There's more than just the Kimberley. You stand up here and you talk about the Kimberley. Do you see what's happening in the rest of the region? Do you understand the challenges of regional WA and youth? I feel as though you get up on this grandstand so that you can get a media bite, a front page, something up in the Kimberley. <coughs> How about for a change, Sam. you start looking at a holistic issue? That's something we have to do in government. We have to look at the whole of WA. We have to look at every single inch of it. Not just pick up on an issue, go around and um, whistle it up a little bit, go grab, the, uh, go grab the member from the other place, Vince Catania, and take him up to the Kimberley and get your shots next to a river. That's not the sort of stuff we're doing. We got the Honourable Rosie Sahana up there working hard with Nirenbook, having a forum that you didn't even mention in your speech, where there were stakeholders, there was government reps there, it was well attended and it went for two days, you rocked up at the back end of the second day. Where were you for the first day? That was a community forum that was organised with the government and with local organisations and you didn't even show up. So don't come into this place and start whipping up things against the Minister for Police, the member for the Kimberley and the Honourable uh, Rosie Sahana are up there fighting every day for that, for that electorate, every single day. And I don't want to sit here and listen to you rubbish it because it's unacceptable. It is absolutely unacceptable and I'm not going to cop it. You talk about things off the cuff. You say things without any funding models. You talk about curfews. I, I heard you on radio talk about a curfew and the presenter said to you, well, they did it in Northbridge. What were the results? And you said, oh, I'm not sure. I know they did it, but I haven't looked at it. You don't do any research. You get into this place and just sling it around. Take your time, go back and look at the problems. And you, you stood there and said that you work with a bipartisan approach. That is rubbish. That is fake. That is absolute fake. And if you were really serious about it, you'd have more of a handle on the issue than just trying to get your media grab in this chamber. Disgraceful.